I'm going to show you is to use local historical data to test. The difference between previous is it's not the easiest, but it will be more reliable because you have your historical data in your local file so that you can run it. This is the actually the result. You will see it in my demo. Historical data farm is not good at the moment. Let's switch to, let me make sure you can see the Jupyter Notebook. Right now I'm switching to the Jupyter Notebook again. But this time I changed my file a little bit. Let me explain it quickly so that I can. So what you need to do is to choose the strategy you want to backtest. This time you switch to data provider name to local file, which means you have your historical data download to your local. And then you want to use it to backtest. You need to still need to choose a end date, start date for backtesting. This time you need to follow the instruction to provide historical data to iBridge Pi. It's straightforward because the file name is this one. You want to provide it to SPY. This is minute bar, and you want to provide this historical data to SPY for daily testing. Let's run it. And you can see iBridge Pi started to backtest line by line. And you can see the trading robots bought some share, sold some share, bought sold and end. And to visualize the result, let's run the next line. You can see is this one is backtesting date number. It's not a real date, but just simulation date. And the y-axis is the account portfolio in dollar. The default value right now is 200,000. You can see the price go like this. And this is how we backtest using historical data. The next demo is like this. The next, the idea of next demo is think about the problem with this backtesting strategy is you need to have a minute bar data. You need to provide a daily bar data. The reason for that is average pay simulate trades at one minute before market close. However, it needs historical data at 359 to simulate the price. The difficulty for traders is that minute bar is not easily available. Think about if you go to Yahoo Finance, they only have daily bar for the time frame go back to year, let's say 2000. They don't provide minute bar. So it caused some difficulty for traders to simulate for a long backtesting time frame. To help you solve that problem, Average Pi have another way to simulate minute bar data. So the solution is you provide data source name change to a value called simulated by daily bars. The default way is whenever Average Pi needs a minute bar data, it will go to daily bar and use the close price to simulate the minute bar data. This one is a little bit tricky, but think about that. For example, you need the trading price at 359 for a day, but you don't have it. What are you going to do? You're going to say 359 is pretty close to the close price. Let's go just use the close price of daily bar to do the simulation and it makes things much easier. So let's run it. Average Pi will still do the simulation. But this time, it doesn't. I, I did not provide the minute bar data. I just gave it daily bar data and run it. It still works. And how about the result? You can see the result is pretty close to the previous one. It's not exactly the same because I'm using the I'm not using the real million bar data at 359, but I use the close price. You can see the shape is kind of similar to the previous one, but hey, it's just simulation. It's an approximation there. So we accept, let me make sure. Right now I'm switching to my presentation, but right now you should see the, the page with two charts, 
two graph, and this is the simulated result. Only use daily bar. So I run the simulation back to year 2000. And you can see on the left side, this one is SPY chart. If you buy and hold SPY, this will be the result in your account. You can see it's not that smooth because the market go up and down. However, if you run buy low, sell high, and run the back testing from year 2000 to year 2020, you can see your portfolio looks like this from 200,000 to 800,000. So compared to this two chart, you will see, wow, buy low, sell high is better than buy and hold SPY overall. The reason for that, we build a model. Even if the correlation using the simplest linear regression is not a big number, it's a tiny number considering linear regression model, but it still make pretty good result overall.